Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Dakota, and I'm back with another video. Um, in today's video, we're gonna be testing out and reviewing the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara and Velvet Noir mm, Lash Primer. And I received these in the mail from a um, website or app called Social Toaster. So, I figured I would just review them on here. I've already posted my Instagram pictures um, a couple weeks ago with these, but I wanted to give them a full-on in-depth review um, because when I posted my picture, I was able to just put it on real quick and go, snap a pic and go, but I really wanted to sit down and share my actual opinions with you guys. And in the end of this video, we will actually be having a giveaway. I've always wanted to do a giveaway, so I actually, I actually have... Um, brand new, <clears throat> brand new Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara and the Velvet Noir Primer for you guys. So, one lucky winner will be winning these. You know what I mean? So, let's just get into the review, shall we? Okay, so I haven't curled my lashes or any of that. They're just literally just plain. So, I figured we'd just, like, jump right in. So, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Primer in 50 velvet primer and it just looks like this can i see that okay and um right off the bat when you take the wand out it's like a almost like an eyeshadow primer kind of look you know what i mean like it just has that kind of look and i kind of like that and of course when it goes on the lashes it literally primes the whole lash and turns them like completely like skin color or neutral which I really like a lot so I'm just gonna go back and forth with this and build it up as much as I need to so an important trick that I learned with mascara if you're gonna be doing like a no makeup makeup look or you just want just mascara on on the daily just to make sure you get the bottom from root and then wiggle up and then also look down in the mirror and wiggle downwards as well getting the top of the lash so it's like completely coated and that works for every single mascara like i said i'm so excited to be able to even do a giveaway so you guys Stay tuned so you can learn how to do that. How to win it. Alright, so I'm just coating them nice. Should do the bottom lashes just to show you what it looks like on the bottom lashes. Because I know there's some people, um, me, <laughs> that use mascara and then they go ahead and they put lashes on. Because when I'm doing like a really full glam full whatever you want to call it kind of look i always have my lashes on and then i just coat the bottom lashes so i'll also show you what it looks like down here as well i don't know if you guys can see that from there i wish i could zoom in but i literally film all my videos on my phone because huh your girl is on a budget I'll just get the lower lashes as well. Alright, so that looks pretty coated to me. So I'm going to zoom, or not zoom in, huh? I'm going to actually scoot in for you guys to kind of see what I'm working with. So they're pretty coated there. Okay. Now I'm going to wait for them to dry down a little bit. Just to where they're kind of still, you know, they still move not completely dry. And I'll be right back to put on the mascara. I'm back. Now we're going to try out the mascara. And this is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. Mascara in Noir. Which means black. As well. Because that's what color this is. Ooh, what if they made color ones? I'd be down. Marc Jacobs, if you're watching this. Um, hit me up. Make some colored ones, you know. Okay, let's go ahead and apply this. As soon as you can see, it like glides on over the primer really well. You 
guys see that? Holy cow. It's giving my lashes like a curl and I haven't even curled them, so. A plus on that part. I'm not sure if I want to like layer it up or just do one layer. How about we do one layer on one side and then we layer it up on the other so we can see if it's even layerable. Wow, I can talk smarter than that. See if it's able to layer up. So we're just gonna put it on. Real time, people. Get the bottom lashes as well. All right, so this is like how this side is looking so far. I'm like really impressed that it gave it a curl. And I'm really impressed by the bottom lashes as well. So on this side, I'm just going to do the same exact thing. And then we're going to come back to this side and see if it layers. Okay, so as you can tell on this side, I have like better lashes. Because those showed up like a lot better. But we're going to go ahead and go back onto the other side and um, add some more. So I'm just going to give it one pump. One thing I want to share with you guys, do not think that, you know, if you go back and forth with your light up and down, that it's going to get more product because all you're doing is actually opening up and forcing the air inside, and that's what dries up your mascara eat faster. That's the word I was looking for. Why do my mouth pop after I say everything? Anyways, um, I'm a beauty guru now. We mouth pop. It's a thing. Anyways, um, going back on the side, layering it up, seeing if it that's good if it gets cakey that kind of thing so let's go ahead and see so I'm just doing the same motions there from root to tip wiggling it looks like it's layering up good guys I am thoroughly impressed I'm so glad I have time to like sit down and actually like use the mascara and actually get to look at what it's doing. So cool. It looks a little bit spidery, but like it's not bad. Like, do you see that? Maybe it'll focus, maybe it won't. Um, we never know with this camera. Oops. So there's what it looks like. I'm going to take a clean Q-tip. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this little speck of mascara I got there. Okay. So that's what it is looking like. Bottom lashes, will they layer? Yes. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it at that and we'll go ahead and talk about the mascara. There we go, we're in focus finally. Um, anyways, um, here we go. The primer, I feel like it curled my lashes and gave it that extra, like, volume that it needed for the mascara to look nice. Um, it builds up easily. I actually waited for that one to dry to see if it would build up if it was dry. And then on the side, I just have, I don't know what it is, longer lashes. This is one coat, this is two coats, so you guys can see the difference in, like, the thickness of the lashes. But, I am honestly impressed with this mascara, guys. I really like it. So, thank you to Social Toaster for sending me these. I believe it was Social Toaster. Let's see. It's been a hot minute. So, yeah. I got this in the mail. And it says... It was... Social Toaster. So, thank you guys for sending this to me. I honestly really thoroughly enjoyed these products. Um, 
I highly recommend them. Um, if you had to grab your hands on the one product, I think the one product that I would most likely recommend is the mascara because it layers good and it just coats the lashes so nicely. It makes them look long, fuller, thicker. Um, so if you had to like splurge and buy one, I would definitely recommend the mascara. Obviously, if you could get both, that would be like totally awesome. If you could, you know, buy both, um, go for both. So, if you guys want to see me try the primer on other brands of mascara, let me know. Maybe it's the primer. But when I put the mascara on, my lashes just popped. So, I'm thinking it's the mascara. But if you guys want to see like a review, uh, a review like that where we just review this one and we try multiple different kinds of brands of mascara and see how that works, um, let me know down below. But we're doing a review on these right now, this little duo. I... I love it. This is something I would wear on like days when I was like wanting a no makeup makeup look or I was wanting to look glam without having to get glam. So I'm impressed. I think this might be my new favorite mascara. Um, my second favorite mascara of course is still, still, because I've tried other ones um, in between these two, the Marc Jacobs and this one. This is the Maybelline Snap Scara, and the reason I love this one as well is because it is super easy to get off. You know those days where you're like fully glam and you get home at like 11, 11.30 p.m. and you got work the next day and you're like, I don't want to have a breakout, but like I need to get the makeup off like now. Um, so this is awesome because I just use like a warm rag and it literally just comes off. There's none of that like raccoon, um, gross like black eye kind of thing going on with this. Um, however, I'm gonna be honest here, um, when I did wear these for the picture that I took on my Instagram, um, uh, it was a little hard to get off, not gonna lie, which is a good thing and a bad thing at the same time with mascaras, you want it to last, you want it to be waterproof, I'm not sure if these are waterproof or not, I don't know, but you want them to be waterproof, you want them to last, you want it, you know, you want it on for hours and hours and hours. But you don't want it to, like, be difficult to take off. That's just the thing that brands are still working on to this day. Is making mascaras that are full, thick, last long, waterproof, and come off easy. This one, I'm not sure if it's even waterproof, but this is just, it comes off easy at the end of the day. And it builds up my lashes real good. Um, but these ones are a little harder to get off. But I'm not going to complain too much on that. Because what you're getting with this product is longer, fuller, looking lashes so you might as well just take a little extra minute to get it off and how i get it off is i actually use vaseline or coconut oil and i just rub my lashes um ah same technique i use for um what are those called press pigments if you're using a press pigment eyeshadow and it's staying on the lid and staining coconut oil vaseline guys it's that easy any stubborn pesky makeup you can't get off coconut oil vaseline so, that concludes my full, like, review of the Marc Jacobs Mascara and Eyelash Primer. If you guys want to win these ones, stay tuned. Alright guys, so I will be uploading this video Monday, March 4th, 2019. And the giveaway will be ending April 4th, 2019. So, um... Yeah, this is going to be open for a month. That way, everybody has a chance. You know, everybody that sees my videos has a chance to enter. Because I know some giveaways are like, we're having a giveaway. It ends, like, in two days. So, like, subscribe. But I am opening this up till April 4th. And then I will choose one lucky winner who is going to get the Marc Jacobs Velvet... Maybe. Velvet Noir Mascara and Velvet Noir Primer. And they're right here. So, I will have all the giveaway information down below. But basically, I need everybody that's wanting to win to smash that subscribe button. Because that is pretty much, you know, how I'm going to find you. And just leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys want to see in my next videos. Letting me know what I did right, what I did wrong, why you like me, why you hate me whatever you want. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!